One thing about doing ocean paintings is you want to make sure to get that horizon line straight. And if it helps to sketch it out first, that's no problem. You can do a lot of sketching with your brush. And, and so I've just grown accustomed to doing that. A lot of people, you know, use a pencil, but in, with the horizon line, it might even be beneficial to get a ruler um, as well. And I'm just for the sake of time and everything, I'm just gonna just freehand it a little bit. And if, if it's not perfect, that's okay because I can just fix it later. So. All righty. Not, I'm not going to be putting in all the details. It's going to kind of be. Very. Pretty basic. And this, again, as you can see, it's the same scene that we did last time. So, again, I'm already familiar with it. I'm just kind of roughly indicating where everything's at. So, I'm going to drop that down a little bit lower. And I'm going to move this a little bit higher. I'm going to take this needs to be more like here. And if you mess up, you can kind of wipe out part of it. It'll still kind of stain the canvas if you're using canvas or paper, which you guys will probably be using, but that's okay. All right, so rough idea of everything. Let's go ahead and block it in. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to on my palette, it's a little bit easier sometimes to decide what your darks are gonna be. So I'm gonna kind of mix those up first. And then that, having them side by side allows you to compare them to make sure that they indeed are evenly spaced. So I have a blue and I'm gonna mix in, I'm, I'm basically I'm gonna mix in the color of the cliffs which to me is kind of like a, a, a purplish color. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, and I don't want it as dark as this because this is, this will turn more black. And so I'm gonna lighten it a little bit. It's also a little bit too warm. And so I'm gonna just add a teeny bit of white and see if that lightens it a little bit or maybe a little bit more. All right, there we go. Kind of got a purplish color. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. And every mixture that I do today is probably gonna have every color in it, which, you know, you still want the main color to come through. So I don't want it to be so gray that you can't tell if it's purple or not. So, but it is grayed down versus our pure purplish color that we would have mixed up on our color wheel. Okay, so that's kind of a coolish, that's my dark coolish rock color. So that's my darkest dark right now. Um, I'm gonna mix up my middle color. And so my middle tone, Really, the main two things in the middle value are the trees. So I need to mix up a tree color and the water. And the water, let's do the water first. Okay. And the water, it's, it's sunset and things typically are a lot warm around sunset. So that ocean has a lot of yellow in it. So I'm going to take 
some yellow. It's going to kind of turn it a little bit green. A little bit too green. I'm going to knock it back with a little bit of red, and then I'll probably add some more blue as well. All right. Okay. Okay, now I'm looking for that middle value. I'm looking for something not as dark as that, but I think it still needs to be a teeny bit lighter. And I'm going to start out with this color, but as long as it's the same value, I can make slight color modifications, as you will see. So I just add a little bit more yellow to that, again, since it is sunset. Okay, I'm gonna keep that for just a second, make sure that that's the right value. Now I'm gonna mix up my light. And we all know that the light can't be as light as white, and it has to be, but it also has to be lighter than my middle value. So I'm just going to mix in a gob of yellow and red. And I don't always pre-mix. Um, all right. So one thing here that you probably are seeing is that the chroma of this is pretty, pretty high. And so, I might keep a little bit of that with high chroma, but the majority of it, I'll want to gray down just a little bit. So that's more, I'm, I mix yellow, red, and white. So that's more on the orange side. So if I need to gray that down, I need to add the complementary color, which is blue, to orange. And so I'm adding just a little bit in there. And we'll see if that grays it down. Okay. Perfect. Maybe a little bit too gray. I'm going to add. And it's just back and forth until you get that right color. Maybe a little more yellow. Okay. Now I want to make sure that it's still light enough. Um, I got to make sure that my middle's in the middle. And so far, let's take a look. I think it's pretty good. Sometimes you don't know until you try it. So the last color I need to mix up, main color, is this tree color. And I'm going to mix up the same value as the ocean, but I'm mixing a green for that. So I got blue and yellow. Because, again, it's sunset, there's a lot of reds in this scene. So probably what I'll end up doing is I'll probably need to mix in more reds into the ocean as well. Um, when you're painting the landscape, you want everything to harmonize. And so if, if you have like the golden colors of sunset, well, that must mean if that, that color of light is hitting everything, then you're going to want to put that golden color into every color that you mix. And so knowing that, I'm going to probably end up putting a little bit of red into everything. And that will help create that color harmony and that feeling of, of sunset. So this is kind of a red green. And if I put it next to this, you should be able to see that that's the same value. If I were to take a black and white photo, would that, would that both show up as the same value? And I don't know, because, but from what I can see, when I squint down, it looks pretty close. Again, squinting is your friend in seeing value. And if value is the structure that holds the painting together, just like we've talked about the last uh, five weeks now, that's what we want to focus on. And, and we're just going to be essentially doing what we did last time with monochrome, but just adding a couple more colors, but again, keeping that value structure. So I'm going to start with my darks here. 
I'm just going to block in everything. So my goal right now is to kind of just put everything in as quickly as possible. The quicker I am able to block it in, it allows me to kind of, you do want, you do want to think about what you're doing, but you also, you don't want to get stuck thinking about things too much. You know, too, too often we overthink things and, and so to avoid that, just to try to move relatively quickly, especially when you're getting started. There's a lot of ground to cover and, and getting everything down is super helpful. So as you can see, it's really thin. It's got a lot of gamsol in my paint. I'm doing a lot of scumbling. Keeping my darks thin also is really helpful so that when I go over with thicker paint, it doesn't catch any light and it also, it just helps it stay, stay back. It helps it stay in the shadows. One of my, uh, my mentor, John Burton, he would say, I may not be right, but I am certain. And so when you put a brush stroke, a confident brush stroke is going to look, well, it'll always look better than a hesitant brush stroke. So even if it's not necessarily the right color, or maybe even the right value, put it in confidently and it'll still look better than if, if you were hesitant. Now, Right now with the blocking in, I'm, you know, that might not be as important, but you'll see as we go through this, this scene that, uh, that we'll put in some nice confident brush strokes. Are there any questions so far? So I'm, I'm still going to use different brushes just while I'm blocking it in. You know, especially a different, definitely use a different brush for your light value. Um, you know, just so that you're able to um, not contaminate it with, with your dark colors. But I have three brushes and so I'm gonna do one for each little value that we got here. Okay, so here's gonna be our telltale. So if I put this middle value next to this, does that read as lighter? Does that read as lighter? And I think it does. It might be a little bit too dark still. So, but I can, let's see here. What I'll, what I'll actually want to do is I'll want to compare, I'll want to compare them all side by side. So. So we've got my middle value. One thing that's helpful is to kind of put them all next to each other. Oops. So see how that's kind of rubbing off. I need to come in with a little bit thicker paint. Okay. And then I need to compare my light value. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this lighter value. This is the color of the cliff, so. Got a little bit of dripping. That's all right. Okay, I think my middle value is still just a little bit too dark. And so we're just gonna remedy that now. If you know that something's wrong, it's better to fix it right away than to wait until the end, especially when it comes to value because, because of how important it is. And so I'm gonna lighten this right now. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow because that'll lighten it as well as you found out from that, as we've discussed in our homework assignment, we used yellow as a way to lighten our, 
are seen. Okay, I think that's closer. I can maybe even push it just a little bit more. Okay, sweet. And then that therefore means that I need to lighten this guy too. I'm going to use yellow because this is the tree. But I need to get it at the same value as this blue. Sometimes when they're kind of opposite colors, it's sometimes hard to tell. Oops, see now that's too light. But if you put them side by side, you'll be able to tell pretty quickly. Now this is reading as lighter, so I need to darken that up. Are there any questions? Okay, I think that looks better. The chrome is a little bit less because I'm mixing so much white. I need to get that chroma up a little bit. Just chrome is the vibrancy, the amount of color in, in the paint. So something grayed down, it's gonna have less chroma. Okay, I'm going to stick with that, but I might, I'll probably end up changing it. Okay, so with my new color, and because I know this is a little bit darker, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe out part of that. Okay, let's do this again.